Hi. At the core of its being, the iZ does two things. Receive audio input and generate visuals from that audio. The iZ can receive any audio you send it. Synths, cello, field recordings, percussion, vocals, and so on. The iZ has two general categories of visuals it produces. There are oscilloscope or scope modes that display continuous waveforms. And there are trigger modes that generate a new visual when the audio amplitude goes over a certain threshold. These modes are kind of like stop animation. You can also use MIDI or Link to set triggers, but for now, we'll just focus on audio. Certain audio sources may look better in one kind of visual than another. For example, you might want to use a scope mode to show off your synth's curvy waveform, like this. And if you're sending a drum beat, a trigger mode could highlight the rhythm like this. Of course, you can always bend or break this scope trigger convention. Here's an arpeggiated synth through the same trigger mode, T density squares. And here's that same drum beat through the S cone scope mode. The IZ is flexible in this regard and leaves these aesthetic choices to you. With trigger modes, it's important to get your audio levels right. If your incoming audio level is too low, the triggers won't happen and you'll be watching the same video frame all afternoon. Ugh. Pressing the on-screen display or OSD button will show, among other things, the audio level and trigger status. The amplitude of this drum beat is being displayed on this graph. This is great to see except that the trigger is not being set. No problem. We can increase the audio level by turning up our drums. Now we're in the trigger zone. The audio meter is in the yellow and the trigger box is being set. Sometimes you might not want to turn up the volume on your instrument. So if we turn the drum machine volume down, we can use the IZ's gain control to boost the signal internally. By pressing and holding the shift button, we'll pull up a different menu. By increasing the gain with knob one, we can get the incoming audio to that trigger threshold. Here's what it looks like on the OSD. You can use other sources to set triggers, link tempo, MIDI clock, or MIDI notes. We'll demo MIDI clock. We'll connect a MIDI cable from the drum machine to the IZ MIDI in. We can see incoming MIDI notes on the OSD. Next, we'll change the trigger source on the shift menu to MIDI clock quarter notes. Voila! If we turn the audio down on the drum machine, the triggers are still happening at the same tempo. 